What's going on YouTube? I know it's been a while since I've posted anything. I uh, got rid of the red Silverado and uh, picked this uh, crew cab up uh, for a pretty good deal. And uh, I said I'd never go back to another one, but I just, uh, man, I'm born Chevy. I guess I'll always stay Chevy. I had a uh, F-150 and had a lot of issues with the turbo. Um, I guess that's why I stick with the Silverado and the V8. And uh, anyways, let me show you a couple things that I've already done to this truck. Um, I put these step bars on got them offline uh, marketplace uh, got the windows tinted of course strip across the front uh, but this is the crew cab I think the last video I posted up my red one um, was a double cab and uh, if you plan on buying one of these trucks I recommend um, getting the crew I do miss my bed space a lot but I've learned to deal with it uh, I also bought the uh, blacked out bow tie right here. I didn't go uh, cheap and plastic dip like I did the last one. I went ahead and just bought the real deal. When you buy a Silverado and you sign up for the Chevy rewards, you automatically get like 26,000 points, which equals out to like 20 something dollars. Um, let's see, uh, show you a couple other things. This one is not as fancy as the last one. It is the All-Star. But it doesn't come with the plug. Um, not a big deal. I mean, everything else is identically the same. Trailer brakes. Um, the screen, I think, is a tiny bit smaller. I'm not sure. Um, but since we're in here, let me show you a few things. I uh, got these off of Amazon. They're called uh, Max Liners. You can check them out at maxliners.com or Amazon. I bought mine off Amazon. I think they were like 106 for the full full set these were used actually um, they range from like two 205 to 250 but i mean the whole back except right here that's the only default um the weather techs seem to go all the way back but these don't go all the way back but it's not a big deal um, all right and then let me show you what else got this tarno cover which i had on the last one uh, I went with a different brand called Roll Up. I think they are made by Lear. Oh, and I uh, yeah, got the four-wheel drive this time. I always wanted a four-wheel drive. Uh, another uh, another thing I did was I blacked out the uh, the Chevrolet. This is all this is is a uh, is a uh, plastic decal basically. I got it off Amazon too. Uh, I'll put that in the description. Uh, I got this hitch from uh, BMW uh, trailerhitches.com it's actually pretty cool you pull these pins out and then you can adjust the height and I put this I put this lock on so nobody would steal this $220 hitch and I put a safety pin right here so if this ever defaults it's still never gonna fall out bought that tag bracket uh, also with the points uh, it's a five point five point three liter um, but it's, it's just no Silverado. Um, that other Silverado, the red one, I actually did um, file a lawsuit with uh, GM and end up coming out around 6500 bucks because of all the issues. I guess it's just because it was falling into that 19 category and they just couldn't get the bugs out of it. Uh, I haven't really had any issues yet out of this one and uh, the whole reason I swapped from this from the uh, red one to this uh, crew cab is just because of the issues I was having out of that out of the 19 and uh, I got tired of dealing with it so that's pretty much the new truck and a few of the upgrades um, I think next what I'm gonna do is uh, probably end up going with a different ram and uh, I like these they're just they're super small and um, I'm not a good I'm not a fan of the the rank the Goodyear Wranglers oh also dang I almost forgot I added these mud flaps as you can see they just got a little Chevy bow tie right there 
they save uh, from my driveway is gravel and it saves from kicking up on the paint but that's uh, really it this one doesn't have the uh, the spray bed liner that's the only disappointing thing about it but you can see the bed difference is so much shorter I think it's 5.8 um, that is another thing probably gonna go with a spray bed or the plastic the drop in I like the drop in personally and so you can bang the shit out of them up and I mean you can't even tell it the spray bed liners I mean it's just you try to put chairs and stuff in the back when you're going camping and uh, man, you scratch everything up trying to pull them suckers out um, oh it did come with the tag bracket I know some people ain't fans of those but I like them um, so that's gonna be the video for the day um, I'm just answering some of y'all's questions y'all had about them on the 19 um, you know if you got any just leave them in the comments and uh, talk to you later see ya